What's up everyone, it's Senor Graffa, and we are back with another opening. Uh, this one's a little special. Um, I, I did get these as a gift from Konami. I have been lucky to do some contracted work with them. Um, and they, they uh, I mentioned to them I'm a fan, and they just sent me some stuff. Uh, it's, it's really awesome. It is some of the older sets. The, I think these two came out in June, and this one's September. It's November now, um, but it's cool. I mean, it's, it's free stuff. Again, I'm very grateful to for the opportunity I've had with them and also just to be able to open these. Um, but I do want to iterate this. This is not sponsored by Konami. I'm not an employee. Um, I just did some some work for them and, and they were grateful and sent me the stuff. So thank you, Konami. Um, but yeah, so we have the Wild Survivor set and I think here it's like, uh, like that collector's rare kind of sets that come with some cool stuff in it. Uh, Battles of Legend. I'm excited about this one. I know this one has some kind of cool stuff, at least in the quarter century rare. It has some cool stuff. Um, um, this one just has uh, has some collector's rares. Um, and then the 25th anniversary 10. I have not bought any of these products. I've never have. So I'm excited to at least have, have some openings for these. I debated on doing three different videos, but now I think I'll just do this. Um, so thank you Konami for, for sending me this. Again, I'm not an employee there. So this is not sponsored by them. I'm just opening up the stuff they sent me. Um, and I think I'll maybe start off with whichever one came first. And I think this this uh, set came out first in June 1st. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to open these. See what we get. Um, I'm kind of familiar with the set as to what, what's what's good in here. Um, and while it's survivors, I think it's just the collectors there specifically. And um, a few... Is this the one with the Zeus set? No, it's not the one. Um, but yeah, well, we'll just, we'll just go ahead and crack them open. So I think there should be two collector's rares per box, maybe just one. Um, yeah, this is the ones that comes with like the rares. Super rare, so I think that's our foil for this pack. Um, oh, this one has like some dino card, some dino card, excuse me, as, um, the value card, okay, super nice. Um, I've always been a fan of dinosaurs just because I think they look cool. That's a cool looking card. Solda, nice. Another super transcendosaurus, meteoris. Try reading that card. That's a super. Um, yeah, I, I never bought any of these products when I saw them. Uh, Super Vanquish Continue. Vanquish Soul Continue. Um, so I guess this is a cool opportunity to just open some of it. Again, I, I'm not I'm not playing Yu-Gi-Oh! at all. Um, there's always that part, like, right, that you never really quit Yu-Gi-Oh! You always come back to it. Um, so who knows, I, I, I recently opened those uh, 25th anniversary packs that I randomly found at Target. Um, who knows, this might be an entry. Vanquish Soul Pluton. Oh, I put them backwards. The rares go here. Yeah, I don't know, I don't really know what, if there was like a meta shift Blue Out Survivors. Um, seems to be, oh, this is the one where the, what's the Hungry Burger comes out as super rare, super rare and collectors are, yeah. And it, had, it got like kind of its whole archetype, right? Yeah, see the, this is a Hungry Burger one. Oh, it's the, the Novel, Novel? I don't know how to pronounce that. like all in French. Pink whistle. We're getting all the supers on the right side. It's all right. So yeah, I, don't, I think these also come in ultras. Man, it's been such a long time since I've opened special boosters. The all rarity, the all rarity, um, all rare. Set plus the supers, ultras, and some collectors rares. That's cool. I forgot which collectors rares they brought on. Thank you, cool. And ultra rare, ultra rare, novel restaurant at table.
Is this the one that also brought Collector's Rare Tanky? That's a cool one. I remember pulling my first, uh, my first uh, Fire Fist Bear when it was when it was a thing. Um, and I actually played Fire Fist for a little bit at um, when they were called Sneak Peaks. I pulled a rooster. I pulled two roosters, I think, or I pulled one and I was able to kind of get a second one. Um, and I was gearing up to to play Fire Fist when uh with the rain threes and then before it was even released they hit it on the ban list um so i wasn't even able to play it fire fish just kind of died the rank four was still kind of a thing um but it didn't really make uh the meta had just shifted so fast by then that it, it just really wasn't as relevant as it used to be Oh, this is gonna be our ultra. Okay, Vanquish Soul, heavy, heavy Borger, heavy Borger. Cool. I would think that's a hungry burger card. Tanky, cool. Our super Xena Meteoris. So I think these sets only come with two ultras. So if I'm correct, that's all. That's all our ultras. Maybe there's a chance for collector's wear. Um, yeah. Or I think the, there's one guaranteed collector's wear per box. I want to say, I'm not confident. Seems to be a whole ritual set. That's kind of cool. And there's been a lot of support for ritual cards recently. At least an ounce that has come out. Okay, this is gonna be our either ultra or Yep, Ground Zeno. Okay, I think this is one of the chase cards for this set. Ground Zeno. Um, so I'm happy I pulled that. At least one of the chase cards of the main set that's not a collector's rare. Our super. Just three packs left. Super rare. All based around that Hungry Burger set. Actually, I might have bought a random pack of this when I saw it. Because, yeah, I do have a Super Rare Hungry Burger um, somewhere as well. Uh, so that's kind of cool to see. It's a warrior. What the heck? Wasasaurus and Vanquish. Okay, so yeah, so no, no collectors there unless I missed it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm not going to lie, nothing too excited. Got the ground Xeno. I don't know what the heavy burger is going for and the novel restaurant restaurant xeno meteoris transcendosaurus meteoris those look cool but yeah cool um well thanks for that Konami. um we'll just go ahead and go with the next one that came out after i want to say this came out towards the end of june this one i'm really excited about hopefully i can pull a quarter century rare of course i want that quarter century rare ip um that'd be sweet if not the the zeus um i think there's the one that came with that secret rare sky sky striker excuse me link and the zeus reprint so those would be sweet to see um so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get started with the right side uh this pack is a lot, lot lighter this is five foils per pack cool 24 packs okay so it's all ultra rare oh, okay secret super poly Nice, I don't know when the Super Polys were super pricey. They like made a comeback and they got super pricey again. RGB Rainbow, Rainbow, Rainbowlution? Ah, like Revolution. Rainbowlution. Praying Mantis, cool. Shadows Light. Yeah, this is cool to pull a quarter century here. Um... I think these must be one per case. Dark armed, oh cool. Protection of the elements, synchro zone, puppet pawn. Wow, so cool to see dark armed dragon again. Much needed reprint, and this one's kind of a weird, it's, all, it's like a little darker than the rest of them, you see? Yeah, it's like much darker. I guess that's why it's the dark armed dragon, but let's see what we got here. D, 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 wow, I remember that was only three. 
Um, terraform. Oh, cool. Secret Rare Terraforming. Um, the one thing I'm not a big fan about Secret Rares is that they're, they're like barely any secret. You see, it's just here. And just the, the lettering is just silver and that's it. I don't know why they changed that so much. I'm glad with that the Rarity Collection they brought back some of the Platinum and it's not as intense. Um, so, oh, this is a cool card. Um, but see, like in this one, you can see the secret a lot more. So they, they, they got to be a little bit more intentional about how they, how they print their secrets. Mother Spider, Sage, Di, I'm not going to pronounce that. Di Dare, the Ooze, the Ooze Giant, a Pendulum Exceed, a mechanic I never learned to be honest, Performer Pal, Danger, and I see, oh, that's a cool secret. Yeah, see, this looks much better. Maybe it's that terraforming didn't give him much of a chance to let the secret shine because it's, it's a lot of blacks. Um, and the art. Golden Rule. Cool. Satellar Knight, Constellar Diamond. Oh, nice. Did that uh, Constellar Pleiades ever get a reprint? I know that one was one that got pretty pricey. Tri Edged Master. Oh, that's a sweet looking card. Wow, the no punk stuff looks sick. Oh, that's Deer Note. Okay. Monstrous Revenge. Performer Pal, that guy. Oh, cool. Secret IP. <laughs> nice. It's not the the quarter century, but it's the IP. I already have a... I think I have a... Was it the Megaton Secret IP? I have one of those. Never had a Starlight, Math Max, Link Decoder, Battlefield, Tragedy, Tragedy, excuse me. And number 72, that looks sick. Cool, now we're on the left side of the pack, of the box. Rose Shaman, Assault Synchron, Ma okay, oh wow. We got both Microcosmos and D-Fissure. I made a really trolly deck once um, using Macrocosmos and T-Fissure and it was just so fun to see people hate it. The whole point was you banish and then uh, you gain life points that your opponent loses life points because of it. Book of Eclipse, nice. These are a bunch of cool reprints on here. Happy to see those as secret rares or cards that you really wouldn't see as kind of a high rarity. Ogre Dance. Man, this punk set looks sick. My problem uh, with deck building, I do it with uh, Digimon. Not so much with Lorcana, but I just want to build stuff because I think it looks cool. It might be straight jank, like Dynamorphia. I, I built that for some reason. Just because I thought it looked cool. Oh, right of Arimaseer. Nice. I don't know what that's going for. I just know it was uh, pricey when it first came out. Like, what, a year or two ago? Mysterion the Dragon Crown. I don't know why that got a secret rare upgrade, honestly. Sage of Benevolence, Bright Carrot, Dark Magician, the Knight of Dragon Magic. Oh, that's cool. I'll just, I'm just going to keep this in my for my collection but that's a sick looking card i collect all like dark magician kind of cards um that's a sweet one looks dope I remember when battles of legend they were like star foil rares i hated that battlefield tragedy okay sweet I got like a pile of junk over here. Rose Shaman, um, Rocket Coder, D Fissure, sweet. Two more packs. Um, I'm doubting I'm gonna get the Quarter Century Rare, regardless of what it is. Um, was hoping to see that Sky Striker or the Zoos on here. Um, that's not either one of them. So yeah, I doubt there's a Quarter Century Rare in here. Hopefully it's the Zoos or the Sky Striker. Performer Pal, and nope, it's not. It's that Jinky Mysterion again. But cool. Um, I mean, I'm not going to complain about free cards. What am I saying? 
Uh, but yeah, I want to say maybe the highlight of this one. I don't even. I don't think there is a highlight. Maybe the right of a room seer. I don't know what that's going for the IP. Uh, someone can comment on here and tell me what the best card was that I pulled. And I won't open the tin. Um, I'm a big fan of tins. One of my first products when I first started playing was a tin. It was actually the Dark Magician one. Um, the one where he has his arms crossed. I still have that card. Um, I like I like the shape of these tins. I have a bunch of them. And right away I get my quarter century rare galaxy eyes photon dragon. Cool. I don't think that's the one we want to see anyways. I think it's Stardust that we want to see. We get three mega packs. Sweet. How many cards per pack? Does it say here? No, it doesn't. It is um uh three different 18 mega packs. Includes three different 18 mega mega card packs. Okay. Um doesn't say here there, but it's a thick. It's a thick boy. So yeah, we'll see, we'll see what we get. I think there's quarter century rares on here as well, right? Okay, so digit jamming, labyrinth, stovey, stovey torby, labyrinth, prayer plan, don't know. Okay, we got branded beast, theory on bull, and overfusion, simorg, border protection, runic tip. Oh, Bistial Lobelion, cool, and then all the rest of the comments. Bistial. Wasn't that doing good in YCS Indie? Okay, so we have our rare here, this commons. Uh, these are our commons too. Weather Painter, that's the adorable card. Okay, it just makes our supers. Um, Ultra Rare Pit Knight Early. Yearly, Naturia Blessing, Lovely Labyrinth of Silver Castle, that's a cool card, Scareclaw, and that's it, Dynamorphia. The deck that I built that I just never played because it was just so jank, but it looks sick. One of my favorite arts, I want to say, actually. And this is our last pack, last pack of the video. We'll just skip to the rare. Put that there, the rare. We got the Super Fire Opal Head, uh, Ultra Spellbound, Ultra Cash Tier Preparations, uh, Secret Labyrinth Labyrinth, and Secret Branded Banishment. Cool. Okay, cool. Well, that, that's it for our video. Again, um, thank you, Konami, for the gift. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, I mean, for, for free stuff, I'm not, I'm not going to complain. It was some pretty sweet, some okay stuff here. Um, but yeah, I mean, thanks for watching. I really don't know what I'm going to do with these cards. Uh, I just guess I got to store them somewhere. But uh, I am grateful for this opportunity. I mean, I did get the Core Century Rare Galaxy Ice Photon Dragon. That's pretty sweet. It has a little, the little stamp. Oh, you can't. Uh, the one on the on the Simone that we pulled is a little bit more pronounced. You can kind of see. Oh, there it is. That's a pretty sweet stamp. So if you haven't seen these in person, this is actually embedded on it, so you can actually feel the texture. You can kind of hear it too. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do a review of this, but thank you, thank you for watching. Um, let me know what you built out of Wild Survivors or Battles of Legend. I don't think you can build much out of Battles of Legend. It's just a monster, monster mash, as it says. Um, whoever approve that in marketing. Um, but yeah, th thanks, for, thanks for watching. Let me know what, what you're playing. Um, I might dabble into getting back into it as I mentioned in my previous video. Um, but yeah, it was, just, it was just fun to open Yu-Gi-Oh cards and they, uh, they're they so satisfying to hold because they're a lot smaller than like Digimon or or, um, or Lorcana for the Japanese size. Um, but yeah, thank you. Thanks for watching. Like my video, please. Let me know what you're playing. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Um, we're definitely going to have a lot more content coming up. And uh, yeah, uh, thank you again. This has been Senor Grafa.